Facts First presents Bike Gang Hunts Down Dogfight Rings and Saves Animals from Their Abusive Owners There is a stereotype that people in biker gangs are bad people, that they're criminals. People believe that biker gangs exist only to break the law and maybe rob people to get money. Drug dealing, guns, and violence are what people think about when they hear about biker gangs. While illegal activity does happen in some bike clubs, that's not the case with them all. Rescue Inc. is a bike club in Long Island, New York, and they don't break the law. Instead, they're out to do some good. The members of Rescue Inc. are tatted up, and they might look a bit menacing, but they're just a group of guys who are completely against animal abuse. They are a nonprofit organization whose goal is to help those who can't speak for themselves or defend themselves – the animals. The club is made up of people of different ages, genders, and careers, and their members are lawyers, weightlifters, and ex-police officers. And they have a mission statement. It reads, Rescue Inc. does whatever necessary within the means of the law. That's what our lawyer tells us to say – to fight abuse and neglect at all times. Well, it's not uncommon for the members of Rescue Inc. to intervene to save animals. This bike gang, they hunt down dogfight rings and they save animals from their abusive owners. Dogfight clubs are heinous, and what the dogs go through is literally torture. It's not just dogfight clubs the members Rescue Inc. intervene with, though. In the past, they've worked to save horses, fish, chickens, a pig, even a python. Some people think of the group as superheroes. The members of the club, they see things a bit differently. They say they're just some super animal lovers and protectors. They say over the years, they've had to deal with challenges, obstacles, and near misses. However, to them, it's all worth it. They believe since animals can't speak for themselves or protect themselves, they need somebody to speak up for them. Rescue Inc. made a name for themselves, and in 2009, reality television producers for the National Geographic Channel, they approached the group and asked them to be on a reality TV show. The show followed members of the group as they used in-your-face tactics to shame and report abusive animal owners. They take it upon themselves to remove animals from their harsh, abusive surroundings and take them to no-kill shelters. In some cases, the animals need to be taken to rehabilitation facilities. That's necessary when the animals have experienced serious neglect and abuse. The show was called Rescue Inc. Unleashed. The members of the club also run a shelter themselves. The oldest is 75 years old, Bato. Despite his age, he still runs with the best of them. Joe Pans, Big Ant, Jano O, Eric, G Angel, Des, the Cat Man Jr., and Robert, they're just a few of the other members who fight for the rights of animals. The members of the group they often work closely with the ASPCA. With the two groups keeping in contact, it's easier for the groups to find the animals who need the help the most. Members of the group say they don't do the things they do for payment or recognition. They work to protect animals because it's the right thing to do. Period. Since animals can't speak for themselves, the members of Rescue Inc. speak up for them. They'll do whatever it takes to save an animal's life. Rescue Inc. is a really great group, don't you think? The members spend most of their spare time protecting those who can't protect themselves. The group came together thanks to their love of bikes and their love of animals, and it didn't take long before they put the two passions together to do something wonderful. They've saved hundreds of animals whose lives were horrible before the group heard about them. There are many animals that are alive today thanks to the group's intervention. The members say that they would love to live in a world where animals are treated the way that they deserve to be treated, but until that day comes, they're going to be stepping in wherever they're needed whether it's a dogfighting ring, a cockfighting ring, any abused animal, they're going to be there to do the right thing. They say they would love for new chapters to start around the country, but until then, they plan to help animals in need wherever and whenever they can. Show your support for Rescue Inc. by sharing this video with others and click that like button. Be sure to subscribe for more and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos.